Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out a joint effort between Mad-Eye and Flame Tusk called... Sequence. This following test chamber requires a carefully planned sequence of events to be performed by the test subject to open the exit door and leave. What is that sequence of events? Well, that's for you to discover on your own, of course. Welcome to the first, and certainly not last, Flame Tusk and Mad-Eye collaboration. We both put in our best skilled efforts to make this as good as it could be. The final product could not be made alone. With that said, our first installment in this series of collaborations is a logic test chamber in an open, clean style, with lots of fuels and lots of flinging. We both hope you enjoy. Uh, maybe, maybe it's different in, in the UK, but this is, this is not how you spell collaboration, just, just so you know. There's, there's generally a double L in collaboration, where I'm from. But anyway, the Flame Tusk did the puzzle concepts layout and testing, and Mad Eye did the hammer work layout and testing, and Bullfrog also did some testing. Let us get started. This looks like it's gonna be good. By the way, before we begin, somebody requested a Polux map called Center, and they wanted it to be played in a live stream, but they also wanted me to wait until they're there before I start playing it. But they didn't put any kind of information about who they are, what their name is, or anything, so I have no idea who I'm supposed to wait for. And, uh, if you could please kindly tell me who you are, that would be great. Alright. I love the way this looks. Look at all that detailing. That is really nice looking. Wow, that looks nice. Alright, well. So, we have this puzzle here, in front of us, with a button. That turns off that death grill. Ooh, we've also got the combined Death Grill and Fizzler here. We've got this one that just blocks portal shots, but you can otherwise keep your portals through it. Ah, uh, sure. Come up here with me, please. Can't actually take it out of here unless we do it like this. There we go. Let's go ahead and put it on this button for now, because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Looks like there's also an area up there that we could potentially get to. Hmm. How do we get up there, though? What? What am I... What was I standing on? What? I've never done that before, that was strange. I don't know what I was standing on there. Some weird geometry with the way the portals worked. But anyway, what I'm trying to do... ...is, uh, not what I'm doing right now. This'll make things easier. Sort of, maybe. Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, oh, I actually can't stand on that. Okay, that's not 45 degree angle, evidently. Alright, so... We could get up there, that would solve a lot of my problems. Ah, that is the solution to my problems right there. I didn't even notice there was a portal surface up there. There we go. That's more like it. So that turns off the Fizzler portion of the combined Fizzler and Death Grill. Which would allow us to shoot a portal through. And we can't take a cube through here, at all, but we can place a portal up here, if we so desire. Hmm. I don't know why, but this area seems familiar from a previous map I've played. Do that exactly. Can we do anything up here just yet? No, we cannot make that jump quite yet. And we can't do the trick with this because we have to be able to actually get into the portal ourselves. Although the ceiling is rather high. So sure, why not? There we go, that works. Oh, that's how we get to the exit. Right. Hmm. So we can easily get in here now. That looks like an escape hatch for us. Oh. We can walk on the purple ones, right? So that would block us. But it would not block a cube, I don't think. I can portal from here to out there, if I had a cube on that upper button up there. What does this do? Did it turn it off completely? Oh, it, no, it just it turns it into a fizzler. 
standard fizzler. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really do much in here right now. I think we gotta figure out what to do up there. Can we press this from in here? I think we can. Okay, that's good to know. In that case, I have some ideas on how we can do this. Maybe. Alright, so now we're up here. Ooh, but the problem is... I think we want to press the button and then run through the portal and grab the cube out here, right? That'd be my guess. Uh, no, hmm. Well, now I'm thoroughly confused. We haven't even been up there yet. Oh, and there's a button up there as well? Wow, there's just all kinds of stuff, isn't there? Hmm. So... We could put a portal right underneath this. But it's not a good idea, because it's just gonna immediately fizzle the cube, like... Like... Like this. Yeah. It auto-responds, though. That I did not know. Alright, well that- that answers some questions then. In that case... Hey, that worked out perfectly. Well, there you have it. Let's change that now. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so. Now we just need to do this maneuver again. I think we should be all set. To continue the puzzle, I mean. Not- not to finish. We're, we're nowhere near done. We're- we're just continuing. Right, so. Now we can stand here. Yes. That works. We keep our portals and we walk through here. Let's go ahead and save before we continue. Good that same assisted. I appreciate that. That was a mistake. Let's let's pretend I didn't just do that. <laughs> let's uh let's do it out here, please. There we go. That's much more preferable. Right, so now that's like that. Actually it doesn't matter, does it? I don't think it does matter. Yeah, maybe I didn't have to come out here and undo my mistake. Cause I just have to... have to do this anyway. Cause now we wanna hit- stop ourselves by hitting that. Well that was a weird flicker. There we go. It stops us in place. Better than a light bridge any day. Look at this, we got a nice window. And because of the layering, the cube dropper looks like it's in front of the glass instead of behind. Well, this is a familiar sight. I don't know about you guys, but I, I have a vague memory of what to do here. Ooh. Looks like that's the real exit. No second chamber. Alright. Just be auto respawning. And what's the best way to do this? So we just wanna launch it over our heads and try and grab it? Will that work? I sure hope it will. Hey, did it! Excellent. Right, so now we are done. I, that was a good puzzle, I like that. That was a good puzzle. Portal there. Portal here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. That's, uh... I don't know what I'm standing on, but I did not expect to be able to stand on it. <laughs> Sorry if I busted your eardrums from laughing so hard, but that was really unexpected. Because I hit this thing multiple times. Well, anyway... Let's, let's get out of here <laughs> before I break the map anymore. Oh, I hit the door. Look at this. 
Very, very nice hammer work. Great work, guys. Great work, both of you. Alright, well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! End of playtest. <laughs> Got to remove that, huh?